As a faculty, English decided that to make NAIDOC week something significant for our students and for the teachers in the English faculty, we wanted to teach the students the difference between a welcome to country and an acknowledgement to country. So um, our classes watched an explanation of acknowledgement and welcome and learned from their Indigenous teachers um, what they would have to do. And then they started drafting their own acknowledgement to country and they were really, really proud of themselves and so we thought it would be nice to share it. What to say about everyone else and what would really be fitting and also the truth at the same time was a little more difficult but I got there in the end. Actually, I actually learnt the difference between a welcome and an acknowledgement which because I'm not Indigenous myself I hadn't actually explicitly learned that before so it was really really brilliant to see um, my students and me learn that together. Yes we live here but it didn't originally belong to us so a lot of people don't realise that and they just take advantage of what we've been given this beautiful place and they don't acknowledge that it belonged to someone before that and it's just it's important because they need to know that we thank them for that. I would like to acknowledge the Darking Junk people, the traditional custodians of the land on which we learn and I thank their elders both past and present. I thank the Darking Junk people for our beautiful beaches and waterways and I hope we continue to take care of this land in the future. Mostly I thank them for this land that provides us with a place to achieve and education the most important thing of all. Finally, I thank the Dark and Junk people for sharing their stories. I promise to listen and respect your, what does that say? Welcher, I think. I would like to acknowledge the Dark and Junk people, the, the, the tra tradition custodians of, uh, of which we learn. I thank the elders past and present. I thank them for the nat natural, natural setting of our school and the beautiful natural environment that surrounds us each day. We, the mountain and the native trees, I thank them for the, nat the native birds making beautiful sounds that we listen to each lunch. I thank the dark and young elders past and present for the Pearl Beach, Patonga and the entire coastline. I thank you for letting us learn and grow in such a special natural environment. I would like to acknowledge that the land on which we learn is dark and young country. I pay my respects to their elders, both past and present. I pay my respects to the storytellers who have taught and are teaching the past and the present. I would like to acknowledge the dark and young people who have preserved our country over the last tens of thousands of years for us to stand on today. I can feel my skin absorbing the sun's rays. I can feel the wind brushing past me. I can taste the clean, crisp air because of you, the dark and young people of past and present, who have kept our country free of pollution. So I acknowledge you, the dark and young people, for keeping your land a wonderful place so that the past, present and future have a beautiful place to learn and share memories. I would like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land on which we meet today. I would also like to acknowledge that this is the land of the dark and young people and I would like to pay my respects to the elders past and present. I am a proud Bensville girl and I am thankful for the schools we have today and the education we are given. I am thankful for the food and water we receive, I am thankful for our generation and I am thankful for Australia. I would like to welcome you to the land of the Darkingjung people and in my ancestors on which we stand on today. I would like us to pay respect to the many generations of my people and the indigenous elders of this land who won't stop at keeping the history and the significance of our country in the minds of everyone today. I would like to respectfully acknowledge the Darkingjung people who are the traditional custodians of the land on which we meet today. My name is Shaley Hines and I am a third generation Australian girl from Edelong on the central coast of New South Wales. My ancestors were born in New Zealand and moved to the coast when they were 16 years old. When I say bush and beach meet, I feel as though I'm home. I would also like to pay my respects to the elders both past and present and look towards my Indigenous peers as a part of our future. 
I would like to acknowledge the Dakinjung people who are the traditional custodians of the land on which we are meeting today. My name is Charlie Keynes and I am 13 years old. I am a coasty girl who is from Yumina Beach. I would like to pay my respects to the elders both past and present and extend that respect to my Aboriginal peers as the elders of tomorrow. I would like to acknowledge the Dakinjung people who are the traditional custodians of this land. I would also like to pay my respects to elders both past and present. I would like to acknowledge my older sister Jasmine who has brought light to not only my world but to the elders around her. She was always so brave, gentle, kind-hearted and was always happy. Although she may be in my past, she will always be in my present and I was fortunate to have her as long as I did. I would like to acknowledge the Dakinjung people who are the traditional custodians of this land. I would also like to pay respect to elders past and present. I would also like to acknowledge the new community I now live in for sheltering me from my past. This community, including my school, is a place where I am now free from bullying and I'm now happy. I would like to acknowledge my elders both past and present and extend my respect to the Dark and Junk people on the land I live today. I am privileged to live in such a unique and beautiful area on the central coast known as Yamina Beach. This land is home to a wide range of beauty and resources. The diverse flora and fauna make my home a special place. I greatly appreciate sharing the land with the Dark and Jung people. I would like to acknowledge that the land on which we stand and learn is Dark and Jung country. Every day when we are on this beautiful land and how we are really lucky learning and being nurtured here, it is all thanks to the traditional custodians of this land that we get this privilege. I pay my respect to the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people past and present. We should all understand that many years ago European settlers had come to this land and claimed that it was theirs. Therefore we should respect the traditional owners of this land and form a good relationship with them. I would like to acknowledge the original custodians of this land on which we live and meet today. This land belongs to the Darkinjung people and I would like to pay my respects to all Aboriginal elders and extend that respect to any Indigenous people here today. My name is Ella and I'm, I am an Australian girl from the Central Coast, New South Wales. I grew up in Pearl Beach but currently live in Yumina Beach. I believe it is important to recognise the traditional custodianship of our land as we meet and I would like to look to my Indigenous peers as, what I, of, as part of what I hope to be a positive future. I would like to acknowledge the dark and young people who, who are the traditional custodians of this land. I would also like to pay respects for the elders past and present. Lastly, I would like to thank my ancestors for giving me the gift to write and draw my own stories and express my creativity through art stories and songs, just like the Abor Aboriginals and songlines.